guys just wanted to give you a training video update of a roman what we're working on with him so right now i'm just working on all of his commands and seeing what he needs help with so i can help him with with those things and, and push him along and make him get better at all of his commands so he's doing a heel command right now so he's on the left hand side and so as i'm doing this i want to practice some directional changes so if i go away and he follows good boy Ooh. A little bit too behind there. Good boy. Now we're back into that position. Good job, buddy. Hill. Good boy. Good job. Hill. Good. Good. Sorry if this is making you a little dizzy, but I wanted I want to do a series of left hand turns and right hand turns because what that does is it really shapes a nice position of where he needs to be when you guys take him for a walk. So if I turn left, he should be slowing down. If I turn right, he should be speeding up. He'll be a little distracted, so I'm gonna guide him right there. He'll, good boy, good. And now that we're back in that position, I wanna make sure to praise and let him know that that was a good thing. Good job. Run and sit, sit, good boy. So on all of these commands, oh, come on. I'm gonna have him sit. Good, good boy. Okay, he was going into a down right there. And right off the bat, I wanna, I want him to know the difference between a sit and a down. So I just kind of repositioned him, helped him out. Good, now we'll work on the down. Ronan, sit down. Down. Good boy. Good, so what I'm looking for in these, these positions, so these are what I call stay commands. So it's implied that he stays in a sit or a down until told to do otherwise. Either I give him a command like a recall, um, coming when called, or a heal, or I simply just say okay to release him. Um, so what I want to look for is how quickly he downed, how much help I needed to give him. There wasn't a whole lot of, of help that I needed to give him there, and he, he downed um, a little bit slow, but he, he was his intention was to go down. Um, and then from there, I want to build how long he can hold it with how far away I am and things like that. Ronan Hill, good boy. Roman, place. So this is the place command. This is going to be, let me help him out just a minute. Good boy. So I want him all the way on the bed. And this, I'm going to actually practice a little bit of duration work and a little bit of distance. So place command is going to be really important when you guys have him home with you. It helps with dinner time, when people come to your door, lots of things that can be really chaotic for many dogs. And so I like to teach them to stay on a place bed. Good boy, he's deciding to get comfortable um, for longer periods of time in the house. So as you guys eat dinner, he's not begging for food. As the doorbell rings, I like to call a dog over the place bed and put them on there and then go answer the door. And so that way he's not jumping on people, he's not barking, he's being polite. It really helps with a lot of impulse control. Good job, buddy. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna guide him off. Good boy, heel. And I'm gonna go right back into a heel. Good job, big guy. Good, but overall he's doing really good. Um, he was a little nervous of the dogs in the beginning, but he's definitely come out of his shell on that. He's learning that dogs are okay and he can play with them. Good job, buddy. Ronan, down. And do another down here. Good, I'm gonna add a little bit of distance. Good boy, good. So this is how we build stay commands. If he were to break, I'm just gonna go back to that same spot and help him out. But all in all, he's in, he's right where he needs to be. And we're just gonna keep him progressing. So hopefully you guys aren't missing your boy too much.